Hello and welcome to Back to Weight Bit. Today I'm going to do a very quick demonstration just to show you how easy it is to convert an old program to tap file to store on your SD card using your ZX Spectrum Next, either by the original hardware or the Mr. FPGA ZX Next Core. I'm actually using my Mr. Core at the moment. I am still waiting for my Kickstart 2 Next to arrive, which uh, I am looking forward to. But if you're like me, have many old cassettes lying around with programs that you wrote back in the day, you could import them via your cassette player and then resave them as a tap file onto your SD card. Now, this also comes in extremely handy I, if you want to write your own programs or take part in a few typing programs from some old magazines and you want to save your work onto SD card and at least this way it makes the tap file more com you know, compatible if you do want to play these tap files on maybe an emulator or real hardware or maybe the ZX Spectrum Core on the Mister. So it just makes it more universal to be able to use and save your files in this way. Okay, without any further ado, I shall start the demonstration and uh, I hope you enjoy. I will be using 48K mode uh, for this demonstration, just purely because a lot of the old programs you did have back in the day were probably in 48K mode. And I think it's a lot easier to probably save stuff to hard drive using NetBasic anyway. But for compatibility purposes, I do want to you try this out in 48K mode. And what I am going to do is write a very quick program just so you can identify uh, this program when we do try and retrieve it. Okay, so we've got that all stored into the uh, memory. And the first thing we need to do is type dot tape out space. And you now need to name the program you want to save it as. So for, inst for this instance, let's call it Hermski, okay. And then we go dot tap and enter. Okay. We now need to actually save the program to SD card. So we type save as you would normally do using your spectrum. Quotation. And you write a small name here. So this is the name the best way to describe it, when you used to load a program on your ZX Spectrum and the old, those squelching noises start to appear, when you first load up, you get in the top corner, program and the name of the game. This is the name that will appear when you load up the, the old cassette. So let's just call it program. In quotation. And press enter. And it comes up start tape and press a key as you would normally do if you were saving to tape but you just press a key and now it's saved it to the SD card now this next phase is the final part but it's extremely important to do this otherwise the file will not work you go tape out again dash C and what you're doing is closing the tap file down so really the first line where you type type out and the name of the program you are is creating the tap file. You will then do the stage two where you save the program. And then you close the tap file down with the tape out command again. So it's as simple as that. So the program is still there. We're going to clear it all down. In fact, let's do a reset as you see i'm using my mr fpga uh, zx next core 
to do this demonstration. So it just really just to emphasize it does work on the core as well, because one thing I've noticed on these ZX Spectrum core using the mister, you can't save any files to SD card, which makes it quite difficult. So I think using the ZX Next core is fantastic if you want to save and retrieve some of your old programs. So we're going to the browser and you have saved it to the root directory. You can change the directory if you want uh, to, to save it somewhere else, or you can just move these around to a directory afterwards. But there you are. Um, there's the Hermsky tap file that I saved. So we click on enter, load that up. It's now asking me which mode I want to load it into. So I'm going to select four for 48K mode because that's what I created it in. And there you are, program prog and that's what i named the program when i did the uh, second stage of the save and if we then list the program we should see the text the code that we actually wrote and there you are it's all there so i hope you enjoyed that demonstration um if you did or got any questions just leave a comment and if you did find this uh, demonstration useful, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back very soon. Mm -hmm.